When Azaria was born, it was pretty clear that he had Down syndrome, but it takes about 30 days to get the blood test results. Um, what took us about a year and a half uh, was to figure out all of his additional diagnoses. And we discovered that uh, Azaria uh, had chronic lung issues, which led to him being on oxygen support for about two years. Thank God he's been pretty stable now for over a year. Um, but he also has infantile spasms. Um, so he takes some um, anti-seizure medications, which also um, affect his development um, to a certain extent. Um, so it took, it took about a year and a half to realize that he was gonna need a lot more support than just our family could give him. Isaac was diagnosed as autistic about a year ago. Up until then, we just thought we had a very shy, a little bit weird boy. At the age of eight, I've been injured in a car accident. After that, I spent about two years in a rehabilitation hospital. Omer was born in the 30th of the day. His name was CP. His name was very difficult and difficult. אבל uh, אומר, הייתה מוטיבציה מאוד גבוהה. החל מגיל 15-16 הוא התחיל לחשוב קדימה. ושהסתבר לו שהוא אמור לקבל פטור מגיוס, הוא אמר לנו, אני לא מקבל את זה. זה, זה חשוב לי לשרת בצד, אני בן אדם רגיל, כמו כל אחד. זה, זה שיש לי מוגבלות ברגביים, זה, זה לא אומר כלום, אני בן אדם רגיל כמו כולם, ואני יכול לתרום למדינה. גדולים במדים זו תוכנית... שמשלבת אנשים עם צרכים מיוחדים בצבא, ואחרי הצבא, בעבודה. The idea is that each one is capable of doing something. And in this program we are focusing on their ability and disregard their disability. מבחינתו, זה סיירת. הוא כל הזמן מטפס ויורד על מדרגות, הוא הולך מאות מטרים ממקום למקום. אדי נגב is a place where people naturally understand the inherent value of a soul. I think to myself, how could it, how is this even real? It feels unreal. How can these people who are not blood relatives of my child behave in this way? <laughs> it's amazing. It's just each time, it's an incredible feeling to know that you can have that trust, that even if uh, a, a staff member that Azaria is used to has to go on uh, leave for whatever reason, whoever is going to take their place is another loving human being and I don't need to, I don't need to worry about his well-being. Um, I also don't need to worry about his heart. He just feels loved and that's the best, that's the best thing a mother could, could know. If a people and a community can recognize that their weakest members are just as valuable as their strongest members, it changes how you do everything in the world. I think he's just going to take for granted that not only is he loved and not only um, is he accepted in a community, but it will give him the confidence to try harder and to conquer the next step, whatever the next step is. Raz is my second son. My eldest daughter uh, died in the car accident, the same accident uh, that uh, Raz was injured. Ever since I know Raz, he was very active in nature. He used to go and hike. After the car accident, he came back home and suddenly he found out that he is in a wheelchair. He cannot go out. And he was very upset. He cried a lot. Motem and Jenef did change my life. Without them, I don't know what we would do after we had the car accident. Nature can judge you or have an opinion. If you have a disability or special needs, you can feel free with Lotem. That's the best thing. When we first had the diagnosis, Isaac barely spoke. So we didn't really have too much communication with him. And that's when we had our first introduction to Jill from Graffiti. Um, who told us that once a week they'll be bringing Isaac and the rest of his classmates for therapeutic riding. Isaac did not like animals. 
And at that point I thought, yes, good luck. <laughs> and I think it was the third Tuesday that he came back from horse riding. I picked him up from the bus and he just threw himself at me from the top step of the bus and went, I've been on a horse! The changes we saw in our children, they came on so quickly. Isaac started to talk. The people here are incredible. The way that they are with the kids, you just can't describe. And the things that they get our children to do, it's magical, that's all I can say, it's just magical. אם אנחנו נדע לחזק את החוליות החלשות שלנו, אנחנו חברה חזקה.